What's up everyone? Welcome to the fifth Dreamweaver tutorial. Last time we talked about list and how to format a paragraph. And this time I'm going to be talking to you guys about basic links and how to create them. And what a link is, if you don't know, it's something that you click and it takes you to another web page or website. Now there are two types of links to help you navigate around the web. One is called an absolute link and one is called a relative link. These are links we're going to be making on our website. Anytime we want to go to an entirely different website, we're going to be using an absolute link. And anytime we just want to go to another page on our, our own website, we're going to be using a relative link. Now first let me show you guys how to create an absolute link. Select any text that you want to turn into a link. I've added this word link and I'm going to be making this a hyperlink. Scroll down here to your properties panel to see the word link and select your cursor inside the text box. And this is where you add the address of any website that you want. So we will use YouTube. And anytime you use an absolute link, you need to type HTTP, the full address. So type HTTP www.youtube.com. Now if we click out of it, we can see that the word link is now blue and underlined. This is telling us that our hyperlink worked and it is now a link. So let's save this and go ahead and view it in a web browser and see if it worked. As you can see, if you click the word link, it now takes us to the YouTube home site. So let's X out of that. In the next link I'm going to be showing you how to make is called a relative link. This is to link one or more pages of your own website together. So first, the first thing we need if we want to link two more web pages is another web page. So let's go ahead and click file and create a new web page again and first we need to save this as I'll save this as web page 2 and save it under the same place you saved your first web page for example don't save one on your desktop and one on a pen drive so now that we have our second website let's just type this is website 2 just so we can help distinguish website 1 and website 2 so I'm gonna save that and go back to the main website our home page the next thing we want to do is type some text so let's say website 2 this is going to become a link to website number 2 it's the same web page but it's on our same website so now that we highlighted that scroll over to the link box where you typed your absolute link for YouTube but don't type anything in it anytime you're linking a same web page from your website just click on the folder and find that website under wherever you saved it and double click it as you can see now in the link box it automatically saved the website in your link box and it automatically referenced it to your hyperlink as you can see we now have a blue underline saying that website 2 our text is now a hyperlink so let's go ahead and save that and take a look at what it looks like as you can see in our web browser, if we click the link for website 2, it now takes us to our second website that we created. And this is how you create links between one page in your website to another page. But let's say you wanted to be able to click an object such as an image and have that also take you to a website. To do this, you do the exact same thing as text. So let's say I wanted to make this banner a link to Google. 
So I click the banner and you'll see a black outline around it and that's to let you know that you selected it. Then down here in this link box you have to type the full name for Google. So type HTTP www.google.com Now save it and let's take a look at what it looks like in the browser. As you can see when we click our banner and now it takes us to Google. And again, with images, you can use both absolute and relative links. Most people will click their banner image and have it go back to the home page. So if you want to do that, it's a pretty useful technique. The next link I want to talk to you guys about is the mail to link. This is the link where you click and automatically opens up a person's mail program. So let's say whenever you clicked email, oops, email me, then we wanted it to open up a web program so they can email us. So in the link box, type in this, mail to with a colon and type whatever email address you want them to use to email you. So I'll type staff at the new boston.com and now you can see that it has created a hyperlink now whenever the viewer clicks this it's going to open up whatever email program they have and it's going to auto automatically start to email you now that's all the time we have for right now but in the next topic we're going to be discussing how to change the links remove a link style your link and also be learning about images. And if you need uh, and if you need help with anything we went over today, you can just go to my website www.thenewboston.com for a step-by-step -step tutorial.